Alright, so you do not know what to do until Black Ops 3 comes out, and it puts you in a really awkward gaming situation, unless you have a backup game. And, unfortunately for me, I don't really have a backup game. My backup game is Advanced Warfare, and that is really, really not good right now. Because once you taste a game like Black Ops 3, and you go back to Advanced Warfare or any other game, just nothing's the same. But... I have found a game recently that is amazing. It definitely tops my charts, and it's definitely something I'm going to be purchasing in November. And it is Star Wars Battlefront. It is completely amazing. I've been playing on the PC. Now, I can't speak for console. I may go and get it for console, but just know that this beta ends the 12th of October. And you have three more days with it, so that's plenty enough time because the max level is five, and there's only two maps in multiplayer, or two game modes in multiplayer, and one extra game mode that kind of ties in with cooperative sides of things, which is survival. And it only goes up to a certain round. I believe that round is six. You guys will be experiencing some gameplay on my channel from Battlefront here in the coming days. And... From what I've played and the two maps available, it is amazing. Now, there are the game modes are a it's King of the Hill and or Drop Zone, whatever you want to call it. If you've played Modern Warfare 3, Drop Zone is the game type, except it doesn't keep dropping care packages. There's only one, and you pretty much have to play King of the Hill around it. And once you get done with that, once you've defended it long enough, you get some care packages or some care rings. I'm not too sure what they call those yet, but you get like a special power up, whether it be like an air attack or a really good grenade you know c4 stuff like that you just get different stuff from these little rings and not a lot of people know about those and it's good to just like get something that you can quickly call in like a sentry gun place it down pick up another you get like this amazing imploding grenade throw it and then pick up the third not that many people go for those because they're really translucent you can't see them that much and no one really knows what it is it kind of just looks like one of those random power-ups that are on the ground that you can't really use yet because you don't have all the equipment unlocked on level 5. And the other game mode is where you follow, and uh, just bear with me, an ATAT. That's, yeah, it's an ATAT, and basically it stomps across a map in a 20v20. That's right, 40 players, 40 people on a single map that is crazy and it's just it is just it, basically what it is is one team tries to disable the ATAT and the other team tries to push forward and destroy their base and from this you can get in little uh, airplane things you can get into ATSTs the A wings you know I'm not too good on my vocabulary for Star Wars. I've watched the movies, but it's been so long ago that it just hasn't stuck with me. And, you know, for all you nerds out there, it's A-Wings, Y-Wings, X-Wings. Hopefully you guys know what those are, and hopefully you guys can play the beta too. It is free and is out for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Not too sure about last generation consoles, but a game like this I don't think would do justice on last generation. If you have not made the Switch, go ahead and buy yourself an Xbox One or ask for an Xbox One PS4 for Christmas or do like me and just build you a computer that'll do it all for years to come. Now, you know, situations are tough if you can't save up money. This is the time to do it. This is the one thing, if you're a dedicated gamer and you're not on next gen, this is something you should have your eyes set for. This has been Aaron, and I upload daily and expect some Battlefront gameplay to come from me. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow.